Sagittarius spirit. What do we have for Leo's? Leo collective spirit. Clear. Intuitive messages, please, for Leo collective. We got wish come true, first card. Jesters. And we got success. All right, I'm going to use the Aventine Wellness to clarify. So, somebody is hoping and wishing that you would take them back, Leo. Whoever this is, this is somebody that may have asked you for some form of support or, I mean, they may ask you for some form of support or they could be somebody you have taken care of before. Y'all take what resonate, roles can be reversed. But somebody, I'm hearing, been dying to speak to you. Can I get some cards, please? Okay. We got, I like you. That's two cards. We got cassette. And then we got the phoenix. Oh, okay. Yeah, whoever this is, this is somebody that that likes you, Leo. And they've been hoping and wishing that you feel the same way. Some of y'all could be a, a new person. Some of y'all definitely could be a new person. Um, the rest of y'all could be somebody you're already familiar with, that you know, that you have dealt with before. But this is somebody that hopes that you like them just as much as they like you, um, Leo. But, um, yeah, this definitely could be an old person. But when they come forward, Leo, on some real stuff, let me be real with y'all. Leo, this person could be needing some support, Leo, with gestures right here. This person only want to come back because they, they need your, they need a helping hand. And they all in their head right now. They all in their head. Um, I don't know why, but I'm hearing a handout. Like this person thinks that you, some of y'all's person think you a bank. Like they just think that you're supposed to, you know, do everything for them. Because maybe you are somebody that is on your path to success, to success, Leo. And you have gained some, you know, status or whatever. But, yes, this person is in their head thinking about, coming forward and making change. I don't feel like they came forward yet. I just feel like this is them hoping and praying that you still like them, Leo. And they hope that they can get something out of you. So this is somebody that's definitely looking for some form of support from somebody. That turned that did not turn out right, but that's exactly what I'm seeing so far. I feel like y'all dealing with somebody that is hoping that you would take them back. And hope you still feel the same way about them, Leo, because they need your help. They need a helping hand. This person got their hand out. It's gold right here. They need, they go, they, they, some of y'all could be a gold digger. Maybe you look at this person as a gold digger or a user. Some of y'all feel that way. But, yeah, it's because you could be somebody that's on the right path right now. And you could be somebody that's very successful. I just feel like your status may have went up. And they're looking at it not only as hoping that you like them, like them, like, like they, well, they don't like you like that, like, period. I'm being honest. Like, it's only to get something. They just hope that you still in love with them. They just hope that you still, they still got you wrapped around their finger. That's exactly what I'm seeing, Leo. That's exactly what I'm seeing. But they're just thinking about coming back and making some change. But let's see if they actually do come back. Let's see what's happening. This is crazy. Cars ripping. We got the two of cups. We got the nine of cups. So some of y'all could be at peace with yourself or you could be in another connection with somebody else. Some of y'all that got, got somebody else all up on you or all in your energy, Leo. And it could be a new love interest. But it is telling me that this old love do want to come back 
and make peace with you. Some of y'all could just be their energy itself. Maybe this is their energy. Maybe they will eventually come forward and make peace with you and apologize. We got the Knight of Cups. Somebody may owe you an explanation. They feel like they owe you some form of an explanation because they don't want no beef with you. Five of Swords reverse. This person don't want no drama. They don't want to beef with you, you know, or any of that. But let's dive deeper. I don't know why, but I just keep hearing a lot of y'all status went up, Leo, and it's really making this person have second thoughts about you. That's exactly what I'm seeing. What else? Just know this person will, some, like I said, some of y'all will have somebody else by the time this person come back with something to say. The rest of y'all is just them trying to come back in and make peace with you, Leo. Mm, no. Some of y'all, this person might love you. I don't know. but it's This energy is kind of weird, to be honest. Seven of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody that had other options, Leo, and now that you got away... And I'm here went off to the path of success. Now they want to come back and make, make peace with you and get rid of their options. This is somebody that just chose you. But I feel like they still didn't reflect on the simple fact that they may have chose somebody else. Some of to somebody that chose someone else over you at one point in time. Like I said, it could be those options or another person. Or they still could be in another connection. That could be what it is. Some of y'all's person still in another connection with somebody, even though they could be wanting to come back and make peace with you. But they chose somebody. I feel like they're still in a relationship. Somebody coming back, Leo, hoping that you will take them back, hoping that you're still in love with them. Because even though they may be dealing with somebody else, that they have chose over you, they want to come back and make peace with you because your status went up. But yes, they only want to come back and 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 express themselves, but they at the same time they really don't want to do nothing for you. Y'all don't want to. I'm hearing somebody don't want to nurture the situation. Some of y'all ain't trying to hear what they gotta say. Maybe whatever they gotta say, you don't want to hear it. Or it could just be telling me, once again, they, whatever they got to say, they really don't plan on actually being there for you like they should. I'm telling y'all, this is just to get something out of somebody. Yeah, I feel like, Leo, if this person come back in your life, they could be coming back trying to make peace because, once again, your status. But at the same time... You don't want nothing to do with them because the way they made you feel. Some of y'all, this person made you feel very insecure at one point in time. Maybe they put you down, criticized you a lot. I don't know why, but I'm hearing somebody put their baby mom down or their baby dad down. Like, if you the baby mom or baby dad, maybe they they, they really was bad-mouthing you at one point in time, putting you down, making you feel like you wasn't enough. Be, I'm hearing belittling you for some of y'all. But it is saying that some of y'all going to end it with this person when they come back because you have changed. Y'all have went through some form of a transformation. I'm hearing glow up. And like I said, some of y'all could have somebody new on the side, like you have somebody else. But it is telling me some of y'all went on a self-love journey. If you don't have nobody else, you this could just be you loving up on yourself. But just know that your person intentions is not good intentions and I feel like that's a, you know that that's the reason why you could be rejecting them some of y'all this person rejected you for their baby mom or baby dad if you the one on the side of the situation on the outside looking in you could be the one that was rejected for another person that they was already in love with because maybe they were still holding on some of those persons still holding on to a baby mom or baby dad if it ain't no options it's somebody that they was dealing with before you because I'm getting chosen they chose somebody that they love over you. Yes, and they put you down. And now they want to come in and try to kiss your tail and make peace with you? Uh-uh. I feel like y'all been got over them. Y'all outgrown this person. This is exactly what I'm seeing. I feel like this person is really trying to come in and make it and kiss your tail because your, because your status went up. Because you're doing better without them. 
Even if, even if they are in another connection with somebody else, you still doing better without them. That's crazy. You have to keep telling me y'all y'all got some form of a glow up, a level up, ascending, transcending obstacles, learning. You have learned from this situation. And you off to a new phase in your life. You've been off to a new phase in your life. How do they know? Some of those persons probably already knew where you was going before they left you. Maybe they was there at the beginning stages of your career, Leah, or your business, if you have a business. Yes, I am seeing that you have leveled up on this person. You have chose you. And you have been very, very happy where you at in life. Some of y'all definitely celebrating something. Maybe you could be, I'm, I'm here celebrating a child's birthday. I don't know. But it's the only reason why your person only want to come back. But you, like I said, you're not aware of this. The only reason why, because they see you happier without them and you have leveled up. This lady is in the air with some balloons. Like, she leveled up. She in a happy spot, like a happy place right now. You started something new. You don't want this person no more. It's over. You have, you made change. You, you leveled up and, and created change, Leo, and freed yourself from this person. This person needs to heal. Whoever this is, this is somebody that, that needs to heal. But it's saying that you have freed yourself from this person and you know your worth. I knew it. Look, more change. Y'all are making a lot of change, Leo. Y'all have made a, a lot of um, here progress, Leo. Whether this is in your career, maybe some of y'all go to school. Whether this is in your job, maybe you got a better job, paying job before, I mean, after this person left you. Or maybe you got a promotion. Maybe you have at least two jobs. Some of y'all have multiple jobs. Or I'm here juggling. Some of y'all are juggling like two, three things. And you are making money off of it. You are making a profit off of it. Whatever that you are doing, I feel like you're making money off of it. You stepped your game up when this person walked away. I'm here and it wasn't with you at first at the beginning of the beginning stages of your career or your business or whatever when you were struggling but it's like soon it's like they're trying to come back in to check on your progress you know what i'm saying not only check on your progress but get something out of you with their hand out this person wants something out of you they got the hand out leo whoever this is could be a libra a water sign or air sign and i'm also seeing scorpio i already said water sign water i'm seeing libra taurus scorpio especially Taurus, Libra, and Scorpio in air. Or it could be a Leo. Y'all guard is up. Y'all y'all listen. Y'all got a lot going on right now. If, if for some reason this person wants to hold on to you. They, and it's crazy. Even if they did get rid of their options, if they had options, and it, it's like, this is somebody that probably had options on top of a baby, I ain't gonna say baby mom. It could be they, they could have a lot of options, but they did have a like a girlfriend or a boyfriend and other options, and you could have been one of those options. But it's telling me that some of y'all, this person still got other people in the background lined up, but for some reason they want to hold on to you. They got a lot of baggage. You have you have ascended to. I'm here new levels. You have definitely made a lot of progress. To new levels. You got to new levels, I'm hearing. Your status went up. And and they got they still got baggage. I'm hearing they still got problems. Baggage don't even have to be emotional. It can be emotional, but it don't have to be. But they still got problems. Some of those person got problems in their relationship or their situationships if they are dealing with multiple people. But I'm hearing they chose their problems. They're not aware. Of their, their of their own problems that they are the cause of their own problems. That's what I heard. But either way, you got your guard up, Leo. You detaching yourself from this person. Capricorn energy could be a Capricorn. A lot of y'all, this person still got a lot of problems, a lot of baggage, and that's why you you detaching. And then, and somebody trying to open up and explain themselves, because you feel like. They playing with you. This is kid energy. Some of y'all, you feel like this person is playing with you. You don't take them serious. You know that whatever they got to say is not real. It's not sincere. It's not genuine. You just know that this is not a real, you know, expression, apology or whatever. They go from being the, the 
the Knight of Cups to the Page of Cups, they playing with you. They definitely playing with you, Leo. They only say it to squash the beef to get what they want out of you. It's never to, you know, be with you and wholeheartedly, you know, love and support you. Because they dang sure don't want to um, support. They ain't here to support. But they want to be there when you get the benefit. That's exactly what I'm hearing. But let's dive deeper in the situation. I'm going to pull some of these Kipper cards. And then I'm probably going to pull. I'm going to clarify these with another deck. And then I'm probably going to pull some of my cards. But yes, I feel like your person is just, this person giving you every reason to detach yourself from this person. And it's, and it's all about what they're not doing. That's the crazy part about it. It's all about what they're not doing. The more you don't do nothing, the more you don't want them. It's like they come in just to say anything and thinking that you're supposed to be okay with that. You know? But y'all dealing with a grown boy. Some of y'all dealing with a, 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 a man child. Somebody's very immature and they for the streets. I knew it. This is somebody that's still for the streets and that's why you guard it. And I don't blame y'all for being guarded, protecting yourself from this person because you know what this person is about. This person is still for the streets, Leo. Y'all know that. Somebody could be 39. I'm hearing a grown man is still around here acting like a child. That's exactly what I heard. Yes, I feel like y'all protecting yourself from this person. Yeah, this person probably got a son. They definitely in a relationship with somebody and they for the streets at the same time. And they trying to get back together with you. That's crazy. And they, they working their tail off, whoever this is. Does this person think you is a slave? Like, they really is trying to, to, to come back. And they trying their hardest. But I feel like a lot of y'all protecting yourself because y'all work hard to get where y'all at. But it is telling you protecting the grind. You protecting the, the, the status, the level up that you have gained, Leo. The progress from this no good person. Yeah, you have outgrown this person. You all have gained to be very mature. And they still trying to, like, hold on to you and explain themselves and try their hardest or whatever and, and convince you that they have changed. But you, you can see it, that they have not changed. Y'all clearly see that this person has not changed. And they think you're a fool. But you're no fool. Because you see right through them. They're definitely around here sleeping with everybody in the community. Whoever this is. Somebody could have a factory job. Or somebody could be somebody like in the kitchen. Maybe you could have you maybe you could be like in food service. Maybe you could make cakes, pies, cookies. I don't know. I'm hearing caterer or caterer business. I don't know. I'm hearing maybe somebody like decorate. What's the, I don't know what the what's the people call. I don't know what the position called, but the people that come to make um decorate the um for some form of event or birthday party or celebration or something and they cook and stuff there and they just they decorate it real nice and have the you know the balloons and you know it just be looking real nice the tables all set up some of y'all could do something like that it's crazy they for the streets but they want to be with you but they ain't here to support you either i keep hearing that they ain't here to support what you got going on they ain't here to support the movement they ain't. They're just here to waste your time and, and play these games with you. Yeah, you somebody that's independent on your own, grinding on your own. You grinding on your own. You getting it on your own. No matter what status of, of employment that you are in, you out here getting it, Leo. You out here, like, literally making this money. And they steady trying to, they ain't really saying too much. They ain't working hard enough. That's crazy. They, they dang sure ain't working hard enough to get you. But like I said, you see right through them. They keep saying that. Y'all have grown to be very mature enough to see everything. Y'all see through the, the BS. I'm here. See, see through the BS. You see past the BS. You're no fool. I called it out. Y'all not stupid. This person not in love with you. They can sit here and play these games all they want to, but their intentions is ill. 
They just want to leech off of you. They just want to, you know, be nosy and see what you got going on so they can find a way to get back in. Some of y'all could be in Aquarius. Yes, y'all walking away because things got easier for y'all. Things got easier for y'all in y'all life after some form of a struggle. But let me pull some of these and see what's going on. Yeah, this person know they wrong. Their intentions is not pure at all. They just, they doing all of this just to prove nothing. <laughs> no, for real. Hiding the pain. Somebody could still be hurt, whether this is you or them. And it's sad because... y'all this person still in love with somebody else that they holding on to in the background and you like I say you only want to come in to waste your time and hurt you yeah they want attention or it could just be saying that they hurt inside about something but let me pull another card and then I'll clarify so somebody in pain It could be you, Leo. Some of y'all secretly still heard about what they have done to you. Whatever it is that they have done to you, I feel like you still secretly could be heard about it. And you have not only that, you leveled up. They sick of, okay, this is them sick about you leveling up. That's why they coming in here trying to take from you and waste your time. So they're really jealous of your level up. That's sad. Why come in somebody's life just to waste their time and, lead, and use them? Knowing dang well that you jealous over their success. Yes, they hurt over your success. And not only that, you doing better without them, Leo. You got justice. Good, good karma. I'm hearing good karma is on your side with this person. It really, well, good karma is on your side. But with them, I just feel like they got problems right now. Where they at? With whoever that they dealing with. I don't feel like that's your problem. That's not your responsibility over that way. But... They sick about your glow. I'm getting that. They sick about the status. Your status went up. Your worth went up, Leo, when they left your life. Your worth went up. They ain't at peace with that. It's sad to say that this person is very jealous of your success. It's sad to say. They're not at peace with that. Yeah, because you don't want them. You don't want nothing to do with them. You know that you're not supposed to be with them. You know this person don't want to commit to you. It's like, you know this person don't love you. You know, they're just coming in here to waste your time. But they are sick and they are not okay with the simple fact that your status have went up. And you have made a lot of progress without them. Some of you guys, this person definitely not at peace with their family. Maybe they family... Maybe them and their family had a falling out. Maybe they had a fallout with their fr with their friends and family members, Leo. Because we do got the Ten of Cups right here. And it's crazy because the person that they are in a, in a relationship with, it's like they love that person still, but they really don't want to be there. They don't want to be committed. Your person got problems with their family in a relationship. It's crazy why you over here doing a lot. Listen, you over here doing great. But I'm hearing karma for them walking away. So this is somebody that walked away from you. Some of y'all could have been, are you saying, when I say Libra or a Gemini? Yeah, Libra, Gemini, water, energy. One of them. But yes, this is karma for them walking away from you. That's exactly what it is. The lack of love, the lack of attention, affection, I don't know. I just feel like this is somebody that has wasted your time before. And they think they about to come in and waste it again. Uh-uh. Leo like, no, I'm not stupid. I'm no fool. I'm not no fool. Okay, let me pull some Oracle cards and see. Yeah, I just feel like a lot of y'all this person is trying their hardest to come back in your life to finesse you. But you see right through them. Like, this person thinks you stuck on stupid because you're not. 
you, you see right through this person. At the beginning when you were struggling or whatever, they wasn't there. Now that your value have went up, your status went up, you know, your, your worth went up. They want to ride your way. They want to be all in your face. But it's only to benefit them. Why they over here in a whole other connection with somebody else? Is they crazy? They got to be crazy. There's something got to be, like, mentally wrong with this person. Yes, you have stepped in a whole new world, Leo. A whole new life. Some of y'all about to move. Some of y'all about to move to another country. Or you could be moving to another house. Or you could be moving across town where you at. But um, somebody could be a foreign, foreign, from another foreign country, whether this is them or you. Don't have to be. But I just felt like you walking away from this person, it pushed you so, so, so much to, like, literally step your game up. Y'all have, y'all whole life is about to change. I'm hearing y'all life has already changed. This is just the beginning of a whole new world for you, Leo. Like, literally. But this is this is I think this is the full card in um tarot because it said it in the book I think yeah but yes I just feel like y'all are taking that leap of faith and y'all stepping into this new beginning into this new life yes then I say y'all status went up a lot of you guys could be getting recognized for something that you have started but it is telling me that once again this new beginning is about to make you happy. This person is highly aware, also can be an awareness. They're aware of your new beginning. They're aware of you have made change. And now they think that you have changed up on them because you stepped your game up. But no, they switched up on you. And now you're laying it to rest. Now you, your life just now got back in alignment. A lot of y'all life just got better. You just now started to see some results. Some of y'all been start been with seeing results, and it's getting better and better and better. But it is saying that you are, you know, shining right now, Leo. A lot of y'all are definitely stepping your game up. Some of y'all could be getting recognized. Some of y'all could be worldwide. Some of y'all could be influencers yourself, you know. But it is telling me that you stepping in this new beginning, you know, making a, a huge transformation is it's causing other people to take notice including the person that is jealous of your success and they know you cut them off they know that it's over rest and rejuvenate rest and rejuvenate y'all are done y'all done with this person y'all done with the situation it's a wrap that she never left you look Firm from, they, they ain't doing too good in their foundation at all. They're not. Whoever they're dealing with, whoever they're in a relationship with, they're unstable. Some of y'all, this is the base chakra, right? So they could be having money problems. Some of y'all's person is, is having money issues. They could be very pissed off right now. I'm getting a lot of madness. This is a red, which is the base chakra. A lot of madness right now. Very temperamental. You know, things are out of their control. I'm here out of order. Somebody's house is out of order. Just like I said. They, whoever they live with, whether this is a relatives that they had a fallout with or the person that they live with, if this is a romantic connection, I'm just hearing that this person is pissed off over the simple fact that they could, they are struggling. They downgraded, Leo, and you have upgraded. Like, literally, whoever they chose over you, friends, family, or another love interest, they definitely chose a lesser valuable person. And you over there stepping your game up, getting better and better and better, making progress, making progress, you know, keep shining. That's exactly what I heard. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, Leo. I hope it resonates with you guys and y'all take care.